so previously we've looked at um a statement that if if we have the following one to the one raised to the power three plus two raised to the power three all the way to any integer n raised to the power three it is always equal to one plus two plus three you know all the sum up to n and then you square it because both of these boil down to the same formula that is n square n plus one whole square over four and this is of course n n plus one over two whole square this is what we have already looked at now we're going to look at something a bit more general that is the sum of integers from 1 to n so you have these on one side and then on the other side you have the same numbers but first you're raising them to some power k and this power k is an odd integer so maybe it's 3 which was this case maybe it's 5 maybe it's 7 11 whatever the statement is basically that when you take these numbers that is 1 to the k plus 2 to the k all the way to n to the k k of course being an odd integer it is always divisible by the sum from 1 to n right so the way we can start out with this proof is well first of all the fact that we're only talking about odd integers k gives us a hint at cancellation because uh, if you're raising any minus a to the power k where k is odd since k is odd this will be equal to minus a to the power k right this would not have been the case with even numbers so this is why it's a hint that cancellation might be involved and with cancellation and since we have to prove divisibility it would be much better to work with modular algebra which means that uh, the first thing that i would be looking forward to is uh, having something that is easier to work with than this which is of course the formula that 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to some n is equal to n n plus 1 over 2 so what we have to prove is that 1 to the k plus 2 to the k k being odd integers n to the k is congruent to 0 mod of n n plus 1 over 2 now one little thing here is that since n and n plus 1 over 2 well okay so let's divide this into the into two cases when n is let's say even right and the reason why i'm dividing it into two cases is because when n is even this whole will become one number and this will become one number when n is odd then n itself is one number and n plus 1 over 2 is another is another number so now well, we're trying to prove for n being even so we know that n over 2 we have to prove that this thing is divisible by n over 2 which is some number multiplied with n plus 1 which is also some number now we know that n over 2 and n plus 1 are co-prime so we are trying to prove that this number is divisible by two factors which do not share any 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 prime number or they do not share any factors which means from this we can conclude that 1 to the k plus 2 to the k all the way to some n to the k is congruent to 0 mod of n over 2 and 1 to the k plus 2 to the k plus 3 to the k okay all the way to n to the k is congruent to 0 mod n plus 1 and we can do this because we know that n over 2 and n plus 1 are co-prime right so let's try to work with these two cases over here so let us first work on this side in this it is a bit more obvious because well we have 1 to the k plus 2 to the k plus 3 to the k and well since these are even since n is even there will be no middle term so we do not have to worry about that and on the other hand we have things like well okay so let's write out n minus 2 to the k n minus 1 to the k and then we have n to the k and we're looking at mod of n plus 1 well we can rewrite this as 1 to the k 2 to the k 3 to the k and now this will become minus 3 to the k this will become minus 2 to the k this will become minus 1 to the k mod of n plus 1 therefore by pairing we can very clearly see that this would cancel out to get 0 mod n plus 1 so we've done half of our job well actually quarter of our job because we're just looking at n equals to even right now on to the other side 
here one thing i'll do is instead of working with n over 2 because the 2 is kind of um and kind of an annoying division division by 2 i'll multiply by 2 here so to get 1 to the k plus 2 to the k all the way to some n to the k and then i will prove that this is congruent to mod of n these two are similar statements because if, if this is true then the other one has to be true now just like we did with over here we're going to write in terms of negatives and positives so that some stuff cancels out and in well in this case there will be something left and that would be well since this becomes zero we will be looking at mod n so this becomes zero so we have like one to the k plus two to the k plus some stuff we will have n over two to the k plus some stuff more then we will have minus one to the k and then n to the k actually becomes zero right and we're looking at mod n so here all of this stuff would cancel out and only the middle term would left would be left see the reason why a middle term is being left over here is because the last term became a zero so when you're cancelling out the rest of the stuff is odd so there will be a middle term left and the middle term will be exactly twice of n over 2 to the k and we're looking at mod of n now twice of n over 2 to the k must also be a multiple of n the reason being that well you know we know that n the prime factorization of n contains at least one two so it will be like two into some primes let's say p1 to the a1 p2 to the a2 p3 to the a3 and so on now when you divide n by 2 you're taking out one of the twos from there right so you you took out one of the twos from there and you left with p1 to the a1 p2 to the a2 p3 to the a3 and it goes on and on and then you're raising it to some power k that you know we don't even care about and once you raise it to the power k then you're again multiplying it by 2 so the product that you get in the end will be twice of p1 to the k a1 p2 to the k a2 p3 to the k a3 and so on which now becomes obvious that this number let me remove this so now it is clear that this number will of course divide uh, 2 twice of n over 2 to the k because all the factors match up so we have proven that this is congruent to 0 we have proven that this is congruent to 0 in other words since 1 to the k plus since 1 to the k plus 2 to the k all the way to n to the k is congruent to 0 mod n over 2 and 1 to the k plus 2 to the k all the way to n to the k is congruent to 0 mod n plus 1 therefore this implies and we are only talking about when n is even now this implies that 1 to the k plus 2 to the k all the way to n to the k is congruent to 0 mod the product of them that is n n plus 1 over 2 and n n plus 1 over 2 is 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to n therefore we have proven that when n is even this truth holds now well i can just go over when n is odd too but it's a very similar case when n is odd so we're trying to prove that 1 to the k plus 2 to the k all the way to n to the k is congruent to 0 mod of n n plus 1 over 2. Previously, since n was or since n was even, we, we took n over 2 as a single number and n plus 1 as another number or as, or as another factor. Here it will be switched and again since they're still co-primes we need to prove or rather this this is something that should be true that 1 to the k plus 2 to the k all the way to n to the k should be congruent to 0 mod of n and the same number all the way to n to the k should be congruent to 0 mod of n plus 1 over 2. Well working on the left hand side first n to the k is of course congruent to 0 mod n because you know it's a multiple so we can write this as 1 to the k plus 2 to the k all the way to some n minus 1 to the k and we're looking at mod we're looking at mod n now you would realize 
this is exactly the same this this case is exactly the same case that we had over here you know if you, if you take any number uh you know let's say let's say n is equals to k plus one so we would get or let's not take k because k is already second let's say x plus one so one to the k plus two to the k all the way to some k sorry i took x all the way to some x to the k and we're looking at mod x plus one well you know that the same thing will happen this is exactly the same as this and this will cancel out to get one one to the k two to the k you would get minus two to the k plus a minus one to the k everything cancels out to give zero mod k plus one so we've we've done this half over here again since the two is kind of annoying what i will do is i will multiply the whole thing on the left hand side by two and prove that that is equal to congruent to zero mod n plus one so twice of one to the k plus two to the k all the way to some n to the k and we're looking at mod n plus one now here since n is odd there will be a middle term left and that middle term again when i say a middle term left i mean well actually let's just write it out so this will be one to the k two to the k there will be some middle term n plus one over two well n plus one over two the whole thing raised to k and then we can write the rest as minus two to the k minus one to the k right and we're looking at mod of n plus one well this stuff cancels out as it did before so one can be paired with minus one two can be paired with minus two in the end what you're left with would be twice of n plus one over two raised to the power k and we're looking at mod of uh, n plus one again the same logic that let's say n plus one has the prime well we know n plus one is an odd number because we took n to is an even number because we took n to be odd so this will be 2 into some other prime numbers a1 a2 a3 and you know you, you you get the drill so once we divide this by two once we divide this by two we're knocking off one of the twos and then we raise it by some k right so at this point we've gotten till here this is n plus 1 over 2 raised to the power k and after this we multiply by 2 again so then we get a number n plus 1 over 2 raised to the power k multiplied with 2 is basically twice of p1 k a1 p2 uh, k a2 p3 k a3 so on k a3 so on which is of course divisible by n plus 1 the, the same logic except you know this has been shifted here and this has been shifted here so we've proved that this is congruent to zero mod n plus one therefore to recap um the first thing we did was that one the sum of integers from one to n can be written as n n plus one over two and then we divided into two cases when n is odd and when n is even purely because we need to take this into account when we're taking in the divide by two so and then since n and plus one over two for both cases of even and odd were co-prime this statement was equivalent to proving them separately in this case here everything matched perfectly and it boiled down to zero in this case here there was a middle term but you were knocking off a two raising it to a power then adding adding the two again so of course this was also congruent to zero therefore even after the middle term remains this the middle term itself came out to be zero mod n and when the case was odd something similar happened except the cancellation happened on this side and then the middle term was left out on this side which again came out to be zero mod n therefore this statement is true q e d see you in the next video